The Venus flytrap and other plants have now been engineered to be remote-controlled robo-plants of the future. Researchers in Singapore have linked up plants to electrodes capable of monitoring the weak electrical pulses naturally emitted by the greenery. These plants can then be controlled via a smartphone app. Additionally, scientists have even managed to attach the jaws of a Venus flytrap plant to a robotic arm, and by controlling the plant they have managed to get the arm to pick up a piece of wire half a millimeter thick and catch a small falling object. You can see from this kind of flow, nature robots can be interpreted with our physical, our this kind of artificial world together. Then build this kind of flow, hybrid systems. And then in one day, I would need this kind of robot hands. I just carry from nature and use it and control it. The Venus flytrap has been engineered to close its jaws, thereby moving the arm in the process, which can then pick up tiny objects. However, while the jaws can be stimulated to close, the downside is that the Venus flytrap cannot be controlled to reopen its jaws as this is a process that takes 10 or more hours to happen naturally. Researchers believe that robo plants and other fruits of technology could be particularly useful as crops face increasing threats from climate change. In this feature, I'm able to apply the hydrogel uh, very conformably on uh, plants with rough surface and even hairy surface. And in this way, I can get very high quality signals from plants of all types of surface textures. They have developed film-like, soft electrodes that fit tightly to the plant's surface and can detect signals more accurately therefore improving their communication with plants. So uh, these signals will reflect the health status of the plants. So we hope to study the relationship of these signals and the environmental stresses, and hopefully this can instruct uh, uh, agriculture practice. You are watching The Independent Singapore. Subscribe to our channel for more news and documentaries.